Greetings everyone, this is Elizabeth. I am so excited to be here with you today and to have you with me on my very first Team Tiny Hop. Woohoo! This is a hashtag driven hop, so be sure to click the hashtag Team Tiny TLC Designs Shop Hop in the description down below. To see all that way there you can see all of the other wonderful creators in the hop. Our lovely sponsor from a TLC Designs Shop is giving away a gift certificate to, to her shop. So please be sure to comment on all of the wonderful videos for your chance to win the $10 gift certificate. And today I am so honored to share with you the Seahorse Sam digital stamp set and matching sea scene digital paper. And here we have a couple of those digital um, stamps, Sam the seahorse and his little buddies. And right underneath, whoop, <laughs> we have some of that digital paper. The wonderful thing about digital paper, digital stamps, you can customize them to any shape you need for your project. This little board is going to be a little art project that I'm gonna hang on my wall so that I can remember this wonderful day where I got to be a part of Team Tiny and their sponsored hop. So this is one of 10 in this set. Each of their um, designer papers uh, digital designer papers have different quantities. Some have 10, some have eight. One of them had 25 designs. So definitely check them out. And let us just look at these beauties. And I just printed these on some not so expensive photo paper. You can see it's pretty thin, but they printed up so beautifully. We have that one. And this one, you can see the little seaweed, okay, is already in there for you. That little conch shell, okay, right there. So yeah, you can color yours any way you like. There's some little ground in there. This one is lovely. This, the only way you can get this little tower though is if you buy their designer papers with it in it. And then we got our little starfish shell and then the opal shell. Those are part of the digital stamp set. And there's that little pillar. And the great thing about these is you don't have to have the digitals. You can stamp right on these images. So you can print them on whatever type of paper you like and have them ready to go. This one, nice little light shining through. This one's kind of wavy, like maybe a storm's moving through there. This one has more of those head, um, what did they call those? Head flowers stacked up there with some bubbles. Okay, already in there, but you know, you print those up, put a little seahorse in there, maybe his little buddy. Okay. And you can do them any way you want. And being a digital, you can also flip it and mirror the image, which I should have done. But uh, yeah, so you can definitely spruce them up. How fun to have this on the outer edge. Okay. So definitely keep that in mind when you're shopping for digital stuff. You can do so much. And if you have mermaids, fish, other stamps, you know, you can pair them up with these two. Maybe you stamp a mermaid back there and have this little dude like checking out if that's his friend or not. Okay. That is the digital paper section there. And this is the Sam Seahorse stamp set. These are the sentiments that came with it. I just put them all on one sheet so that we could read them really well. And good friends are endless like the waves. Good friends are as timeless as the tides. 
dancing with the waves that move with the sea beautiful beautiful sentiments and again you can customize them to any way you like and here is the stamp set and this is all how it comes um they're individual files i just put them into my program um silhouette i here is a free version you can load these up arrange them send them to the printer you're good to go a word document whatever you need but that's the sizes they start out as so you can obviously adjust them to any size that you like you have sam the seahorse the little conch shell blowfish some lovely seaweed some ground the starfish super cute the shell that cute little head flower the coral this one is so much fun to color and um, your opal shell okay lots of lots of goodies and here i did um some adjustments so the original paper okay is a six by six but you can shrink and modify I put that right over the top and then I printed some extras that I could chop and put on top of that. This one here, I printed it just the plain background and then I put all of the little dies on there where I wanted them, then print it. So all I have to do is color and it's good to go. And then just to fill my page so it wasn't wasted, I just added another background. So that means he's ready to go. So you can definitely do what you like. Look at that. Easy peasy. And these you can, if you have a scan and cut feature, fussy cutting, of course, or print then cut feature, you're definitely welcome to use those. I did print this a second time to make a card with this one. And my printer crapped out. That's okay. We still can work with that. And I have the card drying over here. Okay. So that, you know, was right there. So you could see this streak. It went straight across and it was all a muck. All I did was I put in a dark line with color pencil and then I lightly use color pencil to fill that in so those streaky lines actually now look like they belong there and then i have one little blemish but i think the recipient would be okay with that i colored penciled all of the little items and then on some areas not everything i just went in with my glossy accents and spruced them up just so there was more texture to the card Again, this is just a thin paper. This particular one is a 65 pound cardstock. Nothing too extravagant, okay? And then when it printed in red, this gave me an idea. Wouldn't it be fun to do something monochromatic with these little guys? So that's gonna be saved for another project. So there's that card I made. And then Remember I said you could print on anything you want to. Well, I found some hot press watercolor paper that I was able to run through my laser printer. And then I foiled it. Look it. Oh, and after I printed and foiled, then I hit it with some uh, watercolor gouache. And that's just the liquid gouache that I let dry and then used it like a watercolor. So... It gives like this little chalky feel to it and then it also has some shimmer because I use some of the shimmer ones but this was a super easy card to put together spritz it without water add some color nice five by seven card ready to go and then this little seahorse I thought wouldn't he be the cutest thing on a slim line card look at that so you can make him bigger make him smaller i took this wonderful 
thing and I colored him with some Derwent watercolor pencils. I did the coloring, then went in with a water brush and blended up that all in. And then I was like, I need some paper for him. So I just grabbed some faux alcohol ink paper that came out of a paper pack, sliced off a section and stuck him on it. Put on some gems to make it sparkle. But yeah, and he is foiled as well. He's on the same watercolor paper as the, our last card. Okay, super fun. And so we've used watercolor pencils, we used gouache, and then we used colored pencils. And then I thought, hmm, I wonder what it would look like if I used some Simon Hurley reinkers. And look at how bright those cards are. Just gives a totally different look. But same technique. Um, I didn't have a lot of water when I did this one. I added more water and had the colors just bleed all over the place. And I think they turned out stunning. And again, with that watercolor paper printed and foiled, I just think they turned out so luscious. The colors are stunning. Let's go. Get that little Sam in there so you can see all of his glory. So be creative. Grab those digital prints. Print them on all sorts of paper and try them out. Run them through your uh, print and cut feature. And, you know, <laughs> oh, that would have been cute too. Um, definitely play around. Let's see what you can create with your digital designs from TLC Designs, the tlcdesigns.shop to pick up yours. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to smash that like button. And if you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button. I'm always crafting. And be sure to follow everybody on the team, tiny TLC Designs Shop Hop by clicking that hashtag that's down in the description. Thanks so much for joining me today. Bye-bye.